Good afternoon, folks. Duval Gardner here. Gonna show you guys what happens when these carpenter ants get inside your whiskey uh, container. So we're gonna walk out here and I'm um, gonna show you guys the damage. What happened was I had a Kwanzaa cherry tree uh, sitting in that container and it was fine throughout the summer and spring because they don't they don't bloom all year round. Uh, so I brought the tree back here, still in the container. And so one day I came out here and the tree looked a little bare. Uh, it had changed some colors. And uh, let me get out this sun, man. It changed some colors. And so I went looking through it, through the, the, um, the soil, and I seen these ants in there. And I'm thinking, okay, just a little ants. I can just easily get rid of them. However, when I started digging a little bit more, there was a whole colony uh, of these ants inside this whiskey container. And so I thought to myself, man, you know what? I gotta pull this, this cherry tree out because I, I got this tree basically because living in Japan, uh, you see all these, these cherry trees everywhere. And um, so I wanted to bring a little bit uh, of that back home to me. And so I started digging around and like I said, there was a nest of ants in there. So I said, okay, let me take this tree out and bury it in the ground or put it in another container because I don't want my tree to be destroyed, right? So I literally grabbed the tree and was getting ready to pull it out because I dug around it to pull it out. These ants had uh, destroyed the root system and it was basically a stick sitting in this, this container. And so basically the tree was dead. Uh, like I said, it, it went from a nice lush brown color uh, to a, to a grayish color. So I knew the tree was dead and I don't know where those ants came from. Um, I, you know, I put the, the stuff down on the ground to get rid of them, but they somehow got through the whiskey barrel. I guess I'm thinking through the drain holes inside, but um, I'm gonna show you what these ants had, uh, had did. So down here, you can see, let me get up in here, uh, of the damage that these ants had caused. I mean, they basically, went to town on this whiskey barrel. Like I said, it was a whole nest of them in here. And so I'm thinking to myself, maybe I can repurpose this wood because I don't really believe in throwing nothing away unless I can fix it. Um, but it's pretty damaged. So, you know, worst come to worst, I might just take this whiskey barrel apart and just uh, use it for mulch uh, for, for next uh, spring coming up or you know i might just toss it in the trash so these these ants uh they really did some damage to this whiskey barrel and uh what i did now let me show you i had i had the whiskey barrel right here originally and underneath these pavers is you know i put there's a mat uh landscaping mat um the sand um, had the pavers done right but those ants somehow found a way into that barrel and uh caused all that damage and so i don't know what do you guys think just is this a lost cause toss it i mean look even here you know all this damage up in here from those ants so have you guys ever dealt with any uh, damage like this, any carpenter ants? So now what I'm going to do is, um, I'm probably gonna get a new barrel. Let's get another cherry tree. And um, I'm probably just plant this one in the ground in the front, um, cause I don't want uh, those ants or anything like that to happen again. Uh, and that tree was expensive, man. It was like almost $150, I think when I bought it. It was about three feet uh, when it came in and it, it grew, it grew nice and lush, man, but those ants really destroyed it. So this is just a lesson learned for me uh, to probably uh, look, just take better care of the plants. Um, look at the ground, uh, check the soil levels and anything like that when I'm putting these new uh, plants in the ground, especially with spring coming up. Um, I got these citrus plants that I need to put in the ground. So I gotta make sure the ground is prepped uh, properly before I do anything like that. I hope you guys have a great day and take care.